So also, what did y'all think about the Neo topic? Do y'all feel like once a cheater, always a cheater? I mean, he cheated on Monietta with Crystal, and now he's cheating on Crystal. Um, I hate that. I hate that phrase. Huh? I said I can't stand when people say that. I hate that phrase, that terminology. What, what phrase? The, the once a cheater, always a cheater thing. I'm not saying it's true. I was simply asking. Oh no, I'm just saying I just hate it when people say that. I know, I know, yeah, that's not really your opinion, but no, nah, I, I don't agree with that. You know, I think for him, I didn't read all the story, but you know, anybody can turn their life around. Everybody, nobody's perfect. People do dumb shit every day. You know what I mean? Oh. This this one uh, how many days? <laughs> right. You said yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been years. How many days How many times has he cheated? do we do the dumb shit? Like once a week? Like what are we doing? Right. How many times did Neo cheat? How many times did he cheated? I mean, he cheated on he cheat he cheated on Monietta with a bunch of hoes oh, and yeah. Crystal. And then he married Crystal. And he's cheating on Crystal with hoes now. I mean, it's it's there are a couple layers to this. The first layer is that. And I and I, heard, I think I heard you speak to this earlier. Um, at some point, there has to be a level of expectation that comes with people in a certain lifestyle. That's what ne I said. I'm not, <laughs> you know, I'm not saying Neo is Boris or anything like that. I'm not saying he's the most handsome guy in the world, but he has access to the most beautiful women in the world. And so, what happens when you have access to, you know, when when, when we were broke, going to Fogo the Child or something like that was a big thing. When you got enough money, you can do that shit every day for lunch. You know what I'm saying? Eat a little bit of your food and throw the shit away and it's nothing. It becomes like McDonald's. So what I'm saying is that she, at some point, Beyonce, when Jay-Z was on tour, she was the most average looking woman probably that he saw in the course of a day. And we know she's beautiful. But looks wise, you have the most beautiful women following you around, ready, ready to do anything, them and their friends. So that's a lot, a lot of temptation. Now, she has all the intangibles and everything. She's a an amazing person and she's an icon but at some point um there's the person that you're dealing with on that level has access to a lot of use now they may not have what you have the intangibles and things like that but in terms of a wet vagina at the end of the night it's very easy to find a pretty one that's willing to give it to you and if you don't understand that you can hate it or whatever but if you don't understand that then you plan with yourself exactly let this man cheat in peace Leave this man alone. Yeah, now that I know that, it, it, <laughs> you can't really. <laughs> right. Re re I'm so like, I, like, honestly, these women know what they're signing up for. You're able to tell what certain type of men, how they move around. Because I don't want to label all men and athletes the way that they are. Because a good, a friend of mine from Howard is married to a, um, a guy from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But he's not that kind of guy. Never was before she got with him. Still isn't now. At home. Family guy. You know what I'm saying? Always has been. You know what I mean? So, that, so but for, for you to think that with a man like Neo that was cheating on his wife with you and other women is going to be different with you is just insane to me. Mm -hmm. You, you, you won, you came up, mm -hmm. you done got you a check. You got three checks. You got three kids with him. Mm -hmm. Chill out. Like, what is, what are you, what are you trying to do? What do you, what's your, what do you, what do you, what do you think? Like, come on. She would do better for trying to understand how to leverage that situation. You know what I'm saying? Because if you replace his name, with the next three niggas names that's famous, you're going to get a different version of the same nigga. You crazy if you think anything different. You're gonna have to get a regular guy to get someone that's gonna be faithful, and we know she's not gonna do that because mm -hmm. these women feel like, oh, once they're with someone that's big and famous, they have to be with someone as equally or bigger, and that's not gonna happen, Crystal. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Crystal. I'm sorry, girl. But now, I'm sorry, girl. But now that that question about what's a cheater or is a cheater? Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't agree with that either. But here's the big question: It's about the individual. Will he always be a cheater or not? Because there, there are some men who actually learned their lesson and stopped. Right. Either, hmm. either that woman would give him another chance, or if he gets into another relationship, he learns the lesson from the last one and ne never cheated. Hmm. But then if you look at Neo, right? Cheated <laughs> numerous times over and over again. Dude. <laughs> 
why? I mean, I understand you're rich. You got all this access. But, dude, come on, you know. But also, yeah. we, we don't know. We don't know if they discussed that. Maybe she knew he was going to cheat, but maybe he took it a step too far. Maybe it was somebody he knew. She knew. You know what I'm saying? We, we don't know. Maybe she yeah. wasn't. It could be. He could have. Well, I don't know. She made she made it a point to say um, selling. He's having women selling their bodies unprotected. So I don't know. Maybe it's she's scared of the monkeypox. Like I said, people got, got bumps <laughs> in their ass. People got bumps in their ass. And maybe she just feel like this is the last draw. I mean, <laughs> now you're not even using condoms. Like, you know what? I was letting you do your thing. But people got bumps in their ass. And I'm not standing for this. Maybe that's yeah. where she just, she just got fed up. And she was just like, listen, like, you're putting my life at risk. Because I've heard a number, like, a couple different girls in the NFL who've got STDs from their boyfriends. But so then, think about it. We saw with Melo and Lala, like Melo was doing his thing, but then he had to have that five baby. And that yeah. was too far. You feel me? Yeah, that baby, like five or six years old. I seen her. She looks yeah. just like him. Gorgeous. Just girl. like him. Gorgeous little girl. Yeah, just it, like him. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I but I but I do think, I mean, we're talking about you know, <coughs> Peter always a cheater. I think that in life, um, you know, people change. People, you know, you could you could have been a petty thief as a teenager. Like, who didn't steal a bunch of shit as a teenager? You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't dream of stealing shit today. You know what I'm saying? For what? My, 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 literally, my nickname was Shiesty. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't yeah. dream of stealing nothing or finessing nobody to this day. You know what I'm saying? We evolved. Are you saying some people can change? Yeah. Some, yeah. Not, not everybody will. Absolutely. People can change. It's and just for the right person. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It can't be somebody forcing them. That we have to. I'm a person who never tried not to cheat. You know what I'm saying? Generally speaking, in, in most of my life, I cheated on every single one. I never even thought about not cheating. It wasn't even an mm -hmm. option. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Not until you get to the point where you're just like, I'm not on that no more. Can't nobody force you to do it or nothing like that or bully you or shame you. You just have to wake up one day and not want to do the shit anymore. It's just that simple. Me? You think... Well, I was just going to ask all the gentlemen, do you think it's the woman? Do you think the woman has any influence on you not wanting to cheat, like in your next relationship? Like the type of woman that you choose? Or do you think it's totally innately in you to be I think, I think she can provoke those feelings or that decision a little bit. But ultimately, you still got to pull the trigger on it. I think if you got a good woman and <clears throat> you're accustomed to being a cheater. I think if you have a real good woman in your possession, for some guys, it may make them think a little bit and change their thinking. But like he said, you're the one who has to wake up and be like, I'm not really rocking with that no more. You know, so I don't think she can change you completely. I just think she can provoke those feelings and those thoughts a little bit. Hmm. Sean? Eugene? See, I think that's tough. Um, I, 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 it's hard, you know what I'm saying? Because you know what I you know what I think? I think sometimes the reason I don't get some men be like, you know, cheating is a deal breaker. For me, it's not because I understand that sometimes shit happens, which sounds crazy to people when I say that. But you know, sometimes monkey pox and monkey, you monkey need, you know, pox is going around. You know what I mean? Monkey pops <laughs> is going around. Yeah. Do do not do not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you know what it's like. It's like I I like to say I'm a recovering cheater. It's like a day by day thing. Like you have. To go home. I, I'm telling you, like if you really think about shit in that way, it helps. Well, you. no, but that is language that addicts use. Hold on. I mean, but if you if you think about it, like you can be uh, uh, addicted to supplemental vagina. You feel me? Supplemental. I, you know what I'm saying? You could just be used to that, and, and it's like, what do I need to do today to make sure that I don't fuck off? And, and I mean, it's the same mindset I do with everything. Go to work. I'm saying like, nah, but sometimes. Anytime people... you think about being sexual, y'all do know that sex and sexuality is is a, a part of your fundamental um, spiritual creation, like how you create, how you think, how you manifest what you want to happen in your life. Do you know that? That's why it's so important to choose the right partner because you guys are making 
that y'all are creating something together that's not just a child obviously it's a child but you're also create like when you feeling those sexual energy put it into your passion like take it put it into the passion and let that like entice whatever it is that you're working on because i'm telling you e ejaculating and releasing your sperm in a place that's not building anything isn't going to get you to where you want to be. I mean, if you want to be in the 1%, you have to make these motherfucking sacrifices. Like, period. Like, if you do what everybody do, you're going to be like everybody else. But, you know, you know for, me, for me, go to know. work. Stop fucking bitches. Please. <laughs> hey, but now for me, you know, you know, it, you know, whenever I get into a relationship, right? I, you know, I've always you know focused on that person because, well, I always had the discipline, and you know, if you really love that person, you won't. But here's something that really scares me, you know, that would stop me from cheating. Like you mentioned, all those STDs that are out there, that's what you know that that can stop that can make a guy think, you know, about you know cheating. You'll bring home these STDs and stuff. Mm. And worst of all, mm -mm. Mm. getting your side chick pregnant, that's oh. another one. Don't you know, do that. that could scare somebody to death. Don't be Believe usher. Me. Don't so, have to make that phone call. Right. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is why I don't understand cheaters at all. I don't understand them because, I mean, because of all those factors that they can bring into, you know, their lives. Okay. You know, and, and then they go, they have to try and figure out and how to lie about it. Fellas, let's make it simple. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay. Don't do it. I wish it was that simple. OG. <laughs> it is that simple. If you're at work, you can't be fucking. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Well, but, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. that's funny you said that. But. I know everybody got them a small business. Now, you know, there's something you could be doing for your business. And, you know, the other person that got that same business you got going to get ahead of you because while you was fucking, they was working. You know, what's funny. I think once we reach a, a certain level of uh, perspective and consciousness and experience, everything that y'all are saying, it makes perfect sense. But think about it. You know what I'm saying? You, Eugene, everything you're talking about, we you talk about. Mm -hmm. Think about how many people take penitentiary chances every single day, knowing that they can lose their lives and don't give a shit. So what I'm saying is that a lot of a lot of, a lot of people don't give a shit about none of that. They just don't care. I want to ask y'all a question I asked on my Facebook, and it's related to this, right? So what? say you're in a relationship with somebody, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the answer can't be none of the above, Kayla, before you get started. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. it's, it's, it's A or B. Would you rather your person have one person on the side or just be open to messing with whoever? Oh, goodness, John. A or B. <laughs> this, this is a very hard choice, but A or B. Yeah. One person on the side or just be going. When they meet somebody on vacation, it's up. They meet somebody at the bar, it's up. Which one would y'all prefer? E Black said B. Okay, my guy eat black, sweet tea black. Uh, I would, oh yeah, let's see what they're saying in the chat. Mimi said, hey. Okay. That's hard, y'all, y'all, y'all stewing over it. I, I thought about this question for two years, trust me. I, I rationalize both ways. I would just prefer to not be with a cheater. <laughs> see? <laughs> but if I had to choose, I probably would choose A. What about y'all? Y'all y'all still thinking? Well, oh, I got logic behind both. Wait, wait, wait. What was A? Sorry. What A was they have one person on the side. Oh no, I choose B. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. The, the person that's talking about bumps on the ass is choosing B. Okay. That, and right. that's what I thought about when I said B. So when I think about <laughs> yes. B, I'm like however, however, if it was anyone that would be dating they would be practicing safe sex and sex with a stranger is not the same as somebody like that you are really fucking with or at least the type of dude or me or just my, what i think um 
I don't really think that like oral sex takes place off, you know, often that certain things take place. It's more just like get the nut, right? You just put the condom on, you get the nut versus like if they're it, like, like they're really dealing with one person, they're going to be doing oral. They're going to be doing a lot of other kinky shit because they're really invested. Right. And they have some level of trust and they're building an emotional connection. So no to that shit. Yes to safe. If they went on vacation, I mean, do I, you mean, do you hear trees fall in the forest? I would never know. It's a hard question. <laughs> I'm going to say, hey, I can rationalize B though. I'm going to say A because at the end of the day, right, our biggest fear with A is that that person will develop some type of emotional bond with that person and then leave oh. you. In yeah. which case, I say, fuck you, fuck you and them. That's much better than people knowing that I'm cuffing a rat. You know what I'm saying? The hood rat. You feel me? And possibly getting bumps on my ass to your point. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I don't give a shit about you developing feelings. If you dip for buddy ass, fuck you and him. I don't care. Shit. 